morning everybody. Welcome to Cascali Garden. Today I am going to make um, butter chicken, but it's not your standard kiwi butter chicken that's full of butter and cream. This recipe came from Janu, Janu, um, his grandmother actually. So this was a young Indian chap that came and stayed with us for the kiwi fruit season oh, last year or the year before, and he gave me this recipe which is just divine. You are gonna need a couple of things that probably aren't in your pantry. One of them is, I don't even know how to say it, but this is a green ingredient. Very aromatic. It's not what you think it is, but it is necessary. And the other thing that you're going to need is Kashmiri curry powder, chili powder, sorry, chili powder. It's the colour that you really want. And cashew nuts, raw, unsalted, uncooked cashew nuts. Um, so the first thing you do is marinate the chicken. Here, I'm trying not to cut my head off. Here is a whole chook, defrosted, cut up, and about three extra thighs just for a bit of I'm feeding a few righty ho and then the recipe one tablespoon of minced garlic half a tablespoon of minced ginger half a teaspoon of turmeric half to one teaspoon of garam masala a teaspoon of kashmiri chili powder and a teaspoon of salt that's what you marinate the chicken in so I'll just throw all that in there and I'm going to double this because that's probably twice as much chicken. According to my recipe, it was a kilo of chicken breast. So that's probably closer to two kilos of chicken um, in all kinds. So it's getting the double, the double whammy. Closer. Rightio. So, a tablespoon of minced garlic. That's all I've got left in the jar. But, that's the clove. And they look pretty impressive with left hole. Technically, this isn't garlic. Um, elephant garlic. It's of the same family and it smells like garlic, but it's nowhere near as strong. Which is why I can get away with cutting big slices like that. Right, Half a tablespoon of minced garlic. So one. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Doubled is. Garam masala. Maybe a bit more. Kashmiri chili powder. One teaspoon, so two. One, two, 
of salt. Right, and that is the marinade. Um, I think really what you need to know is that it's these combo of spices, turmeric, garam masala and Kashmiri chilli powder, plus of course your garlic and ginger, that then become the flavour that goes through the meat and then the sauce. Okay, so there you go. I'm just going to cover that with glad wrap, bung it in the fridge until this afternoon, until I'm ready to cook. So, more then. Okay lovelies, back again, ready to make the sauce. So down here, I have four chopped onions and two tablespoons of chopped garlic. That's the real chopped garlic by the way, not just elephant garlic. Right, now we frying pan. Big frying pan. three tablespoons maybe of oil that much butter Don't have to chop them up too finely because they all go in a blender. Um, and don't forget that I'm doubling with this recipe. So what should have been two red onions, I've got three red onions and a white one. Just cook those down till they're a little bit soft. And because the price of tomatoes is ridiculous in New Zealand at the moment, the old dollar can. So I'd normally put one can in. <laughs> dollar cans. The thing's just popped off. 
Okay, can I mean that? Thank you. Shane's just taking the lids off. Back down to that. Rightio. Onions, tomatoes. And I threw that garlic in there too. And then the same flavourings as before. Um, ginger, chilli, turmeric and garam masala. Third of a teaspoon of ginger. Well, I reckon that much. Third of a teaspoon of chilli powder. Oh, I reckon that much. Turmeric. Garam masala. Right. Fry until mushy. Add two teaspoons of sugar and a handful of cashew nuts. Oh yeah. Nuts. This is what thickens it. Weep. Couple of handfuls.
Oh yeah, that's pretty garlicky, all right. <laughs> just going to wait for those cashew nuts to soften down a bit and then I'm going to put them in a blender and into a bowl so that's the basis of your sauce rightio just so that you can see I'm using one of these um, neutral bullet blenders um, I do it in three lots because you don't want to fill this past about halfway. Um, the heat makes the um, lid quite tricky to get off. And also tomatoes and sugar stay hot. So do be careful you don't burn yourself. And just so you're... Oh no. Ah, I'm just going to put that through this. It's going to be loud, so I might as well just pause this. Rightio. So as you can see, it changes colour. That's the cashew nuts. Change it from that real tomato red whew, to that real orange. Woohoo! And that is the sauce. Back later to cook the chicken. Okay, so here is the sauce all blended up. And I cooked it about maybe two or three hours ago. Um, and now I'm going to cook the marinating chicken. So that's really just in an electric frying pan. Um, so I'll brown all that meat off and um, show you what it looks like then.
Okay, so as you can see, round off the first lot. And now cooking this. See you in five.
Okay, and now we have this stuff. Kasuri Meti. Yeah. 